Hello, welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar un par de minutos para que se eh, integren los demás compañeros. Sin más, teacher, solo voy a estar de oyente, oiga, porque estoy aquí en el Seguro Social esperando que me atiendan hoy. Ok. Gracias.
Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again tonight. Estamos iniciando ya la segunda semana, la tercera semana del módulo y son cuatro semanas. Entonces, en dos semanas, we finish. Very good. So, first thing that we always do is to chat about the platform. This is the platform and uh, uh, tonight we are in the class number 11. And you will see here that there is the the question for tonight. Also, please remember to do the exercise number 11, homework 11. You just need to come here and uh, check what will be the best solution for this one, and that is it, okay? Good, so we are going to check about the attendance. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara, Present teacher. Good. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Carlos Present Humberto. teacher. Okay. <laughs> Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Elia Janira Canizales Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Gisela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Present, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start the class. Uh, it's very nice that you have finished the two units. And, uh, okay. And, okay. And that we're moving on. So, vamos a iniciar con un video chiquitín. Entonces, para ver, hay un par de practice things. So, vamos a ver y luego me dicen qué entendemos. Um, hold on a second. I hold on something here. Yes, look at this. Okay. All right, here we go. If you've got a maintenance issue that needs reporting, then don't worry, as there are three easy ways to let Campus Living know. Number one, in person. You can head to your hall reception and complete a fault report form. Number two, refer to your halls of residence support. Check out the contact page for each hall on the accommodation website. Number three, online, by making a maintenance request through the accommodation section of the elbra.ac.uk website. However, if the problem is urgent, like loss of power or water, and it's out of office hours, then get in touch with your duty subwarden. Ok, ¿qué entendimos? That we could report a problem uh, online. Very good. How we can report a problem online. Very nice. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. And any other, any other comments on the video? Your freeze 
ofrecer, ofrecer ¿cómo sería? Offer. Be offer and uh, mantain, maintenance, 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 for uh, maintenance, for uh, problems with uh, the in the house with the uh, water stock and electricity and others. Very good, that is it. So he offered different kind of services that you can contact them so they can fix these issues for you. Perfect. Any other? Okay. So we're going to start the class of tonight and uh, this is about expressions for describing issues, okay? And this is the first one, move on. Let's see, we're going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to read all the things and then you are going to, to read, okay? So it says, move on. Meaning to leave the past behind you and look to the future or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and think positive. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. I have had enough of this job time to move on to something bigger. Okay. So, do you have any pronunciation question here? pronunciation question yes i have one mm -hmm. um after you can also physically physically move town so okay Thank you. Perfect. any other question The past teacher, the past be in be in the past of the past. Uh -huh. uh, um, ¿Cuál palabra, perdón? Mm, after meaning to leave the past be, be in uh, behind, behind, behind. Good. Any other question? Only that. Eh, la parte teacher donde dice this can be both this. This can be both. Let me see. En la segunda. Physical. Tercera. Physical or mental. Mental. Physical. That's it. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? Ok, so we're going to read. Vamos a practicar la lectura y después vamos a ver el vocabulario. Janet me dijo que quería ser la primera hoy en este lunes. Y yo, pues aquí estoy para obedecer. Vaya. <risa> Move on. Meaning to leave the past be... be, be yeah. Behind. Behind, I see. Behind you and look to to the future or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving in your smile means for forgetting to problem and lean and then positive. Think. 
Think positive. Uh -huh. Think, think positive. You can also this physical physically move physical move town towns or cities or even countries. I have I have uh, had a no enough of this of this job time to move into something bigger. 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 Good. Now Abel Edenilson. Okay, move on. Meeting to leave the past behind you and look the future or some, some somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on your your mind. 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 Me. Minds for getting the mm. problem, I think positive. You can also physical move to or cities or even countries. I have, I have, I have, I know I this job time to move on to something bigger. Okay, very good, perfect. Carla Nira Molina. Oi, move on. Meaning. To leave the past behind you and look to the future. Or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and think positive. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. I have had enough of this job time to move on to something bigger. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Gabriel, is possible for you, Gabriel? I guess it's not possible. Okay, uh, Ivania. Okay, move on. Meaning to leave the past behind you and look to the future um, or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and being positive. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. I have have enough of this job time to move on to something bigger. Bigger bigger very good Thanks. perfect thank you okay now laura fuentes not possible for laura okay let's see then saul adalberto okay and uh, move on meaning to leave the past behind behind you and look to the future or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job this can be both physical or mental moving on in your mind means mind. for mind mind means forgetting the problem and think positive you can also physically move towns or cities or even country. I have had a note of this job. Time to move on to something bigger. Perfect, thank you. Now, Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay, move in. Meaning to leave the past behind you and look to the future. Or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Mo moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and think possible. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. I had a I had announced of the job time to the move on sometime bigger. Something bigger. Thank you. Now, um, 
Cristina is not possible for you, right? And let's see then Elizabeth Hernandez. Movie of mean, meaning to relieve the past behind you and look to the future. For somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving, in, moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and think positive. You can also physically move to or cities or even countries. I have had enough of this job time to move on to something bigger. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Mendoza. Okay, uh, move on. Meaning to leave the past behind you and look to the future or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and things positive. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. I have had enough of this job, time to move on to some, something bigger. Very good, perfect. Now, Francisco Acuna. Okay, teacher, moving on. Meaning, to leave the past behind, you you unload to the future, or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving, moving one in your mind means forgetting the problem and things positive. You can also physically move towns or city or even countries. I have had enough of this job time to move on to something bigger. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Carlos Humberto. Not possible. Okay, so Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, meaning to leave the past behind you and look to the future. And somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be both physical or mental. Moving on, in your mind means forgetting the problem and think positive. You can also physically move to or cities or even countries. I have had an hour of this job time to move on to something bigger. Okay, very good, thank you. Now let's see who's missing. Uh, Roberto Cruz, is possible for you? Not possible. Mario Ernesto. Move on, meaning. To leave the past behind you, behind you and look to the future. Or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. This can be physical or mental. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and being positive. You can also physically move town or city or even country. I have had enough of this job, but I can move on to something bigger. Very good, perfect. Okay. So, uh, now we're going to check vocabulary y pues de qué hablamos acá. Son expresiones para describir algunas dificultades o issues. Move on. Uh, it says meaning. Uh, what is meaning? Significado. Significado. Entonces dice to leave the past behind you. So, what is leave? Do you remember? Vivir. Mm, Ese es leave con I. Uh, uh, 
Ok, leave es como dejar, abandonar. Dejar, dejar, dejar. Ah, perfecto. So, dejar atrás el pasado. Very good. Dejar atrás el pasado. Y ver hacia el futuro. Eso viene a significar move on. ¿Verdad? Si alguien le dice move on, es como que olvídate de eso, ¿verdad? Sigamos adelante. Something like that. Or somebody is leaving a company to get a new job. Es muy común también decir eso, ¿verdad? Somebody. What is somebody? Alguien. 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 Very good. Nice. This can be both physical or mental. What is both? Uh, Ambos. Very good. Moving on in your mind means forgetting the problem and think positive. That was the de arriba, ¿verdad? Que es forgetting? Olvidar. Olvidar. Good. And think positive. What is think positive? Estar positivo. Pensar positivo. Good. You can also physically move towns or cities or even countries. Yo creo que esto se entiende, ¿verdad? Físicamente se puede mover países, ciudades o otras cosas. Good. Y la última es el ejemplo. I've had, had enough of this job time. No, sería ahí le falta una coma. Sería I've had, had enough of this job. Time to move on to something bigger. Something like that. So what is bigger? Más grande. Very good. Comparative. Very nice. Okay, do you have any question here? Teacher, yo, una pregunta. No. ¿Por qué en la última oración están los dos verbos tener have y have? Buena pregunta. Ese es un tiempo completo. Have, el primero, es un auxiliar. El segundo es el verbo principal. Ese es el pasado perfecto. Todavía no vamos a ver ese, pero esta semana vamos a ver ya el presente perfecto. Espero que nos falten porque esta clase es de un tiempo entero el que vamos a ver. Entonces va a ser muy importante. No recuerdo qué día es, pero si estos días de la semana vamos a ver ya el presente perfecto. Y este es igual que el presente que vamos a ver, solo que este es en pasado. ¿Verdad? Entonces eh, lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero sí. Eh, a veces eso pasa, como cuando decimos I don't do, ¿verdad? el don primero es negativo y es un auxiliar, el do segundo es el verbo, algo por el estilo es. Good, any other okay. questions? Ah, it's a pleasure, Evania. Any other question? Ahí se indicaría haber tenido. Yo, ajá, podría ser haber tenido, yo he tenido. Ya he tenido suficiente de este trabajo. Tiempo de moverse a algo más grande. dice. Como cuando decimos ya no, ¿verdad? Esto se acabó. Move on. Ahí se ocupa ese verbo. Es bien importante que recuerden eso. Cuando utilizamos el verbo. ¿Ok? Good. Let's go to the other one. Esta es una cortita. So, yo leo y ustedes chequean el pronunciation. Get over it. Meaning, to forget about the problem. Accept it and leave it in the past. Often a phrase a friend will use when giving advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty out there. Pronunciation questions. I'm sorry. And the second part. A phrase. A phrase. 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 Okay. Any other? Teacher, en la última, en la última línea, donde después donde dice there are plenty, plenty. Plenty, yeah. 
Any other pronunciation question? Okay, vamos a leer. Este está cortito. So let's see how it goes. Ivania, could you please be the first one? Okay. Get over it. Mean, meaning to forget about the problem, accept it, and live in the past. Often a phrase a friend will use when giving advice. Okay. So she left you for another guy. Okay. Get over it and think another girl. Fine. Another girl. Fine. Another girl. There are plenty of up there. Very good. Thank you. Now, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Get over it. Meaning to forget about the problem. Accept it and live in the past. Often the phrase a friend will use it when giving advice. Okay. So she left you for another day. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty, plenty out there. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Mario Ernesto. Get over it. Meaning, to forget about the problem. Accept it and live in the past. Often, a phrase. So she left you for another way. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see uh, Jeanette. Get over it. Meaning to forget. Meaning to forget about the problem. Accept it and alleviate in the past. Often a praise I friends will use when giving advice. Okay. So she left. You for another guy. Get over in in a fine another girl. There are friend there you. are plenty out there. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now Laura Fuentes. Uh, get over it. Meaning to forget about the problem, accept it and leave it in the past. Often a praise a friend will use when giving advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy, get over it and find another guy. Here, there are plenty out there. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carlos Humberto. Hello, hello. Okay, it's the answer. Get over it, meaning to forget about the problem. Accept it and live in the, live it in, in the past. Often a phrase a friend will use when giving advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty out there. Okay, very good, perfect. Now <laughs> let's, let's see. It's gonna be Kevin. Is not possible for Kevin, right? Saúl Alberto. Okay, get over it. Meaning to forget about the problem. Accept it as leave it, leave it in the past. 
often a first a friend will use when giving advice advice. Okay. So she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There there are plenty out there. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Castaneda. Get over in, meaning to forget about the problem, accent it and live in the past. Often a prize, a friend praise. will use praise, will you when give advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty out there. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Elizabeth Hernandez. Not possible for Elizabeth. Okay. Carla Mendoza. Okay, get over it, meaning to forget about the problem, accept it and leave it in the past. Often a, a first uh, a friend will use when giving advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty, plenty out there. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now let's listen to Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, get over it, meaning to forget about the problem, accept it and live in the past. Open a phrase a friend will use when giving advice. Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty or there. Very good, perfect, thank you. Abel Edenilson. Get over it. Meeting to forget about the problem. Accept, accept it and live in the past. Often a phrase a free will use when giving advice. So she leave you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty all there. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Daniela. Okay, get over it. Meaning to forget about the problem, accept it and leave it in the past. Often the phrase a friend will use when giving advice Okay, so she left you for another guy. Get over it and find another girl. There are plenty out there. Perfect, very good, thank you. So uh, everybody has to write, right? So let's check about the meaning, get over it. It says meaning to forget about the problem. Accept it and leave it in the past. Eso viene significando, ¿verdad? Do you remember what is forget? What is forget? Olvidar. Olvidar. Entonces viene siendo como olvidar el problema, aceptarlo y dejarlo en el pasado. Get over it es um, superarlo. Si alguien le dice get over it es como superarlo, ¿verdad? Hay que superarlo. So, often a phrase a friend will use when giving advice. ¿Qué era advice? ¿Se acuerdan qué era advice? Consejo. Consejo. Entonces cuando un amigo da consejo a veces dice cosas por el estilo, ¿verdad? El ejemplo está chistoso. Ok, so she left you for another guy. ¿Qué dice ahí? Te dejó por otro chico. Ok, dice. Así que ella te dejó por otro chico justo el día antes de San Valentín. Y luego dice, get over it and find another girl. Entonces, supéralo y encuentra otra chica. There are plenty out there. Plenty, ¿qué es plenty? I don't know, bueno, teacher. Conforme. No. no. Plenty es como muchos, abundantes. ¿verdad? 
something like that. So gravity and phenomena, there are plenty of there. So hay muchas allá afuera. Baby. So that will do it. Do you have any questions here? Ah, bueno, ese es un poco diferente, fíjese, porque get over here es uh, ven hacia acá. Entonces, y ahí cambia. De hecho, vamos a ver más adelante. También vamos a ver, creo que la otra semana vamos a ver phrasal verbs para ver y los idioms eh, cómo van cambiando. Pero es lo interesante del inglés. Una palabra cambia y ya es otra cosa. <risa> Good. Ok, do you have any questions here? No, teacher. Good. Let it go. Vamos a leer entonces a ver acerca de let it go. So, lo leo y ustedes chequean pronunciation. Let it go. Meaning, to forget about something. Often a problem stays with us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem letting worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore since Elsa from Frozen. Ah, okay. Ya decía yo. Sí, verdad. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay, ahora vamos a cantar. So, eh, pronunciation questions. No. No questions, okay? So, vamos a empezar a leer entonces. Abel Edenilson, please. Okay, teacher. Let it go. Meaning to forget about something. Often a problem is stay with us, with us for a long time because we will not let it go stop the problem letting worry you and make that new start if you really want to make a new start you have let it go let it go and let it go can hold it back anymore sing elsa from frozen good perfect thank you now carlos humberto uh, let it go Meaning to forget about something. Often a problem stays with us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem, letting telling worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you leave, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay, how it anymore since Elsa from Frozen. Good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Daniela. Let it go, meaning to forget about something. Often a problem stays with us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem letting worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go, get found it back anymore, but sing sales from pro. Nice, very good. Oh, <laughs> imposible no cantar la CP. Nice. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, very good. Okay, now, Jeanette también quiere cantar. Vaya. Letting go, meaning to forget about something. Often a problem is they will us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem in learning worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Learning go, learning go. Can't hold it back anymore. Think else a problem. First. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Mario Ernesto Lopez. 
credit to meaning you forget about something the problem is that I quit this for a long time because we will not let go it's not the problem letting worry you and make that new start if you really want to make a new start you have to let go let it go let it go then holding back anymore sign Elsa from process very good perfect thank you now Laura Fuentes let it go meaning to forget about something often a problem stays with us for a long time because we will not let let, let go stop the problem letting worrying you and make that new start if you really want to make a new start you have to let it go let it go let it go can hold in back anymore sing elsa from Prost. very good perfect thank you now let's see saul alberto okay let it go meaning to forget about something often a problem stays with use with us for a long time because we will not let go stop the problem letting work free you and make that new start if you really really want to make a new start you have, have to let it go let it go let it go let it go can't hold it back anymore sing elsa from frozen very good perfect thank you now Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay, let it go. Meaning to forget about some time. Often something. a pro something. Often a problem stay will out for a long time because we will we will not let go. Stop the problem. Let it boring to and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can, can't hold it about anymore. Signs Elsa from Frozen. Perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Elizabeth Hernandez. Let it go. Mean they forget about something. Often a problem stay with you for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem, learn, worry, in you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Things Elsa from frozen. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Mendoza. Okay, yeah, let it go. Meaning to forget about something. Often, often a problem stays with you, with, your, with, us. with us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem, letting worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Sing Elsa from, from Frozen. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Francisco Acuña. Okay, let it go. Meaning, to forget about something. Open a problem and stay with use for a long time because we we will not let go. Stop the problem. Learning worry you and make the new star. If you really want to make a new star, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. 
can't hold his back anymore. Seeing Elsa from frozen. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, let it go. Meaning to forget about something. Often a problem is stay with, you, with us for a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem, let it worry you and make that new start. If you really want to make a new start, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore, thinks Elsa from Frozen. Very good, perfect. And creo que terminamos, ¿verdad? Very good. Uh, do you have, uh, bueno, le damos un par de cosas de pronunciación antes de ver el vocabulario. Uh, remember something. To forget about something. Esa es something. Uh, y había otra. Déjame ver. Eh, sí. Um, with us. Esa mucho ya la dicen bastante bien. Esa es muy importante. With us. And uh, la otra era donde dice sing Elsa from Frozen. Dice sings con S. Si yo solo digo sing, ahí está todo incorrecto. Recuerden que ese es presente simple y lleva la S. Esa S si no se nos olvida la S, no lo estamos diciendo correctamente. So, let it go. Meaning, to forget about something. Eh, olvidarse de algo. Dejarlo ir. ¿verdad? Olvidarse. Eso es let it go. O sea, que si alguien le dice let it go, es como que olvidarlo. ¿verdad? Not important. Often a problem stays with us. Que era stay. Se queda. Quedarse. Se queda con nosotros. ¿Verdad? For a long time because we will not let go. Stop the problem, let it worry you, and make that new start. Y pues pensaría que, ah, bueno, la última línea es interesante. Can't hold it back anymore. ¿Qué dice ahí? Que no aguanto. Ya no aguanto, ¿verdad? Ya. Pobrecita la de eso. Pobrecita. Tuvo que dejarlo ir. Ok. También la pronunciación frozen con Z, Z. Frozen. Okay. Very good. Do you have any questions here? No, teacher. Good, good. Tenemos uno más. Creo que solo hay uno más. Dos. Ah, dos más. Ahí. Very good. So, leave it all behind. Repito y ustedes dicen ahí cómo va la pronunciación. Leave it all behind. Meaning, to forget about your problem. Something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Oh, why don't we sell up and move away? Leave it all behind us. For a while anyway. Make a new start. Ah, bueno, este es otro. Son dos aquí entonces. Make a new start. Meaning exactly what it says. Start afresh, a whole new beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Pronunciation questions. Okay, vamos a leer entonces. Good. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, leave it and behind. Meaning to forget about your problem. Something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Oh, why don't we sell up and move away, leave it all behind us yes. for a while anyway. Make a new start, meaning exactly what it says. Start a phrase, a world new beginning. Beginning. Make, perdón? Beginning. A beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Francisco Acuña. 
Okay, okay teacher. Leaving, leaving it all a begins. Behind. Behind, correction, behind. Meaning to forget about your problem. Sometimes we all will like to do at some time in our life. Oh, why doesn't we sell up and move it? Move away. Leave it all behind use for whiles anyway. Make a new start. Meaning exactly what it says start a fresh. I will new beginnings. Beginning. Beginnings. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be found. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carla Daniela. Leave it all behind, meaning to forget about your problem. Something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Oh, why don't we sell up and move away, leave it all behind us for a while anyway? Make a new start, meaning exactly what it says. Start afresh, a whole new beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Jeanette. Leaving it all begins. Behind. Meaning, behind, behind. Uh, meaning to forget about your problem. Something we all would like to do at some sometime in our slice. Oh, why to don't we sell sell up and move away, leave it all behind us for a while anyway. Make a new start. Meaning exactly what is saying is star star offers. A world new be him. Beginning. Beginning. Making a new star is not always is easy, but I can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now Carlos Humberto. Okay. Leave it all behind, meaning to forget about your problem. Sometimes we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Oh, my dog, why, why don't we seal up and move it away, away, leave it uh, behind us for a while anyway. Make a new start, meaning exactly what they say, start a fresh, a whole new be beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Mario Ernesto. Not possible. Uh, let's check then, Laura. Uh, perdón, perdón. Ah, perdón. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Leave it all behind. Meaning. To forget about the problem, something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Oh, why don't we sell up and move away, leave it all behind us for a while anyway? Make a new start, meaning exactly what is faith. Start a first of a good beginning. Make a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Laura Fuentes. Leave it all behind, meaning to forget about your problem, something we all would like. 
to do at some time in our lives? Lives. Lives. Oh, why don't we sell up and movie away live life? Live. It all, like, live. It all behind us for a while anyway. Make a new star, meaning exactly what it says. Start a phrase, a whole, a whole. new whole. New beginning, making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ivania. Okay. And leave all behind. We need to forget about the problem. Something we all would like to do and sometime in your life. Oh, why don't we sell out and move away? Away, leave it, it all behind us for a while, while anyway. Make a new start, meaning exactly what it says. Start a fresh, a whole new behind beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Castaneda. Leave it all behind, meaning to forget about your problems. Something we all would like to do at some time in our life. Or oh, why don't we sell up and move away, leave it up behind us? For a while, anyway. For a while. Make a new start. For a while, anyway. Make a new start, meaning exactly what he said. Start a phrase, a whole new beginning. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good, perfect, thank you. Elizabeth Hernandez. Not possible. Carla Mendoza. Okay, leave it all behind. Meaning to forget about your problems, something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. Life. Oh, life. Oh, what? Don't go yourself up and move away. Leave it all behind us for a will anyway. Make a new start, meaning exactly what it says. Start a phrase, a whole new be beginning. Beginning. Making a new start, begin. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Yo fui la primera. Sí, verdad. Okay. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Abel en el mismo entonces. Okay, teacher. Leave it all behind. Meaning to forget about your problem. Something. We all would like to do at some time in our life. Oh, why don't we sell up and move away? Leave it uh, all behind. Use for a while anyway. Make a new star. Meeting exactly. Exactly what it says. Star approach. A whole new beginning. 
Making a new start is to always easy, but I can also be fun. Ok, very good, thank you. Creo que solo me falta Carla Daniela, ¿verdad? Creo que ya lo dijo. Sí, verdad. Ok. Yeah, let's see, and the rest are not possible. Ok. So, and let's check them. Um, leave it all behind. Es esta fase, ¿verdad? Dejar todo atrás. Como cuando uno dice que me voy y dejo todo, ¿verdad? So, something like that. Leave it all behind. To forget about your problem. Something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. ¿Qué dicen esa línea? Vamos a ver cómo lo decimos. Something we all would like to do at some time in our lives. ¿Qué dice ahí? Algo que a todos nosotros nos gustaría hacer alguna vez en nuestra vida. Very good. So that is it. Y ahí está el ejemplo. Why don't we sell up? ¿Por qué no vendemos y nos mudamos y dejamos todo detrás de nosotros? For a while. ¿Qué es for a while? Por un tiempo. Por un rato, por un tiempo. Anyways, de todas maneras. La otra dice make a new start. ¿Cómo lo dice, verdad? Y de hecho así dice, meaning exactly what it says. Significa exactamente lo que dice. Y make a new start sería como iniciar, hacer un nuevo inicio, iniciar nuevamente. Start a fresh, a whole new beginning. A whole, ¿qué es whole? Como completo, entero. Completo. Very good. Un, in, in beginning, what is beginning? Comienzo. Comienzo. Entonces, iniciar un nuevo inicio completamente. Making a new start is not always easy, but it can also be fun. Okay? Do you have any questions with this? ¿Preguntas con alguna palabra? Okay, so let's continue then. Este ya es el último, ¿verdad? So, uh, draw a line in the sand. Lo leo y ustedes chequean ahí la pronunciación. Draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or to put a stop to something. I will use cliche, however, it can be true. When faced with a problem and continue with it will only cause more stress. Then it is often better to draw a line in the sun, leave the past behind, and look to the future. New rules, new agreements, and no old baggage. They had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give in. One person suggested they agree to draw a line in the sun and begin again. The both agreed and the argument was soon forgotten. Pronunciation questions. Suggested. Suggested. Any other pronunciation question? Bagash. Any other? Um, new agreement is correct. Uh, new, uh, ¿dónde, perdón? Agreements are no for buyers. Párrafo, lo último. En lo último. Las. Agreed. Las, uh, las they, they both, de hecho hay un error, tendría que ser they, no de. They both agreed and the argument was soon forgotten. Okay. You're welcome. Any other pronunciation question? No, I guess. No. Okay. Let's read them. Vamos a leer. A ver, Mario Ernesto. Uh, draw, draw a new, uh, draw a line in the same meaning. 
to set the limit or a stop of some to something. I will choose cliche. However, it can't be true. When faced with a problem and continuing with it will only cause more stress than it. It is often better to draw a line in the sand, leave the past behind and look to the future. New rulers, new agreements, and not all baggage. They had a very hard argument and nobody was prepared to give in. One person suggested they agreed to draw a line in the sand and begin, and begin again. The boot agreed and the argument was sung for Gordon. Very good, perfect, thank you. Carla Daniela. Draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or to put a stop to something. A well-used cliche, however, it can be true. When faced with a problem and continuing with it will only cause more stress than it is often better to draw a line in the sand, leave the past behind and look to the future. New rules, new agreements, and no old baggage. They had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give in. One person suggested they agree to draw a line in the sand and begin again. They both agreed and the argument was soon forgotten. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ivania. Okay, draw, draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or pull up, stop to something, I uh, will use click on where Hello. Ahorita no le escuchamos, Carla Ivania. Sí, bueno, siempre está fallando, ¿verdad? Yo ahora lo que hago es que veo las, las fotitos de los demás y si están moviéndose es porque está bueno. <ríe> El mío, ¿verdad? Pero a veces falla en otras partes. So that happens. Ok, no hay problema. Thank you, Iván. Let's see who else is missing. Carlos Humberto. <ríe> Me le da risa. Carlos. <laughs> ok. Uh, draw a line in the sand. Meaning, to set a limit or to put a stop to something. A well-used cliche. Yes, however, it, it can be true. When faced with a problem and counting with it will only cause cause a more stress then it is often better to draw a line in the sand, leave the past behind and look to the future. New roles, new arguments, and no old baggage. They have a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give it. One person suggested they agree to draw a line in the past and begin again. The both agreed and the argument was soon forgotten. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, Marilyn Alejandra. Draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or to put a stop to something. A well used which, however, it can be true when faced with a problem and continuing with 
it will only cause more stress than it is often better to draw a line in the sun, leave the past be behind and look to the future. New rules, new agreement, and no, and no whole baggage. They had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give in. One person suggested they agree to draw a line in the sun and behind again. Begin again. Begin again. Begin again. The boat agreed and the argument was soon for, forgotten. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Jeanette Angel. Hi, Jeanette. Hello. Hello. Draw a line in the sand. Meaning, to set a limit or to put a top to something. I will use that chair, homework, homework. It can be true when filed with a problem. In continuing, continuing with in will only cause more stress. Um, then is often better to draw a light in the same leave the past behind and look to uh, and look to the futures new roles new agreements and to all bagage they had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give to give him on person suggested that agreed to drown a light in the sand and begin again. The board agreed and the argument was soon forget it, for, forget forgotten. Como? Forgotten. Forgotten. Gracias. Very good, thank you. Now Laura Fuentes. Draw a line in the sign, meaning to set a limit or to put a stop to something. I will use cliche, whoever it can be true, when faced with a problem and continue with it will only cause more stress. Then align in the sign leaving the bus be, be, be Jane, behind be Jane, and look to the future. New rules, new arguments, agreement. ag agreements, and no all baggage. baggage. They had a baggage. They had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give in one person suggest suggest they agree to draw a line in the stands and begin again. They both agreed and the argument was soon forget. Okay, thank you. Now let's see who's missing. Saúl Adalberto. Okay. Draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or to put a, to put a stop to some, something. I will use cliche, cliche, however it can be true. When faced with a problem and continuing with it will only cause more stress, then is then it is often better 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 to draw a line in the sand, leave the past behind and look to the future. New rules, new agreement agreement, and no old baggage. They had a 
very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give in. One person suggested they agree, draw a line in the sun and begin again. The bot aggressed and the argument was soon was soon forgotten. Forgotten. Forgot. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Castaneda. Not possible. Elizabeth Hernandez. Neither possible. Uh, Carla Mendoza. Okay, draw a line in the sand, meaning to set a limit or to put a, a stop to something. I will use cliche, however, it can be true when faced with a problem and continuing with it will only cause more stress than it is often better to draw a line in the sand little the past behind and look to the future, new rules, new agreements, and no old guy. They had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to do in one person suggested they agreed to draw a line in the sun and be begin again. The both agree and the argument was. Okay, very good. Now, Francisco Acuña. Okay, teacher. Draw a line in the sun, meaning to set a limit or to put a stop the sun sign. I will use the channel, however, it's can be true when faced with problem and continue with I it will only choose more street then it is often better to draw a line in the sound leave it to the past begin and look to the future new rulers new agreements and new all baggage baggage Begesh, they had a very bad argument and nobody was prepared to give, to give in. One person suggests they agreed to draw a line in the sun at the beginning again. The boots agreed and the argument was soon forget. forgotten. Forgotten. Thank you. Now, Marilyn Alejandra. Not possible. Then, Carla Daniela. Boy, teacher, boy, boy. Okay, uh, lee lo mismo, teacher. Ah, lo había leído. Eh, sí. Ok, no problema, then, thank you. Ok. Ah, pues terminamos. Very good. So, let's check some things, ok? Draw a line in the sand. Vaya, esta es una frase. Es una frase que si la traducimos, literalmente sería dibujar una línea en la arena. Pero el significado es to set a limit or to put a stop to something. Poner un límite o poner alto a algo. Nosotros para decir algo que, que queremos que poner un límite en inglés podemos decir uh, draw a line in the sand. Luego dice a well used cliché. Eso pues creo que ya saben que es verdad. Eh, well used sería bien usado. However, ¿qué es however? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, como sea. When faced with a problem continuing with ill will only cause more stress. Then is it often better to draw a line in the sun, leave the past behind, and look to the future. New rules, new agreement. ¿Qué es agreement?
de acuerdo. Perfecto, estar de acuerdo. Nice. Very good. And no all baggage. ¿Qué es baggage? Equipaje. Equipaje. Entonces es una metáfora de soltar el equipaje, de dejarlo atrás. Something like that. Eh, y el ejemplo es algo largo, pero está bien nice. They had a very bad argument. ¿Qué es un argument? Discusión. Discusión. Tuvieron ellos una muy mala discusión. And nobody was prepared to give in. ¿Qué es giving? Rendirse. Rendirse. Estaban peleando y no se daban por vencidos. One person suggested they agree to draw a line in the sand and begin again. O sea, ahí se, se entiende bien el, esta frase, ¿verdad? Entonces una persona le dijo, paren, ¿verdad? Hay un límite ahí. Y empezar nuevamente, empezaron nuevamente. They both agreed, ¿verdad? Este es parecido al de agreement, solo que agreement es nombre y agreed es verbo. Entonces estuvieron de acuerdo ambos. Y el argumento fue pronto olvidado. Forgotten es olvidado. Soon es muy pronto luego. O something like that. Good. Do you have any questions here? ¿Alguna palabra? No. No. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So we are going to continue with the book. So expressions for describing issues. A ver, me voy a ayudar a leer Abel Edenilson. El cuadrito, please. Ok, teacher. Todo. El cuadrito, sí, el número cuatro. Expression for describing. I have a look it. I does work properly. It's make a stretch nose. I need to. I need to speed thing up. Check the brushes once a for, for nine. Fourteen. I have to extend the shoot. A minor fall. Okay, very good. So uh, the name of this section is troubleshooting. Uh, that is the first one. So what is troubleshooting, my friends? Anybody knows? Troubleshooting. Ah, troubleshooting. Okay. Uh -huh. Problema. Trouble is problem, uh huh? Troubleshooting. troubleshooting is como asistencia. Es asistencia como resolviendo problemas, para resolver problemas. So, o sea que si de repente se traba la máquina o hay algún problema de alguna manera, eh, lo que hacemos es un troubleshooting, es arreglar ese problema. So, expressions for describing issues. I'll have a look at it. ¿Qué significa esa? I'll have a look at it. Tengo que verlo. Le voy Como... a echar un vistazo. Uh -huh, echarle un vistazo. Algo por el estilo. Good. Le vamos a echar un vistazo. Very good. It doesn't work properly. What is it doesn't work properly? No trabaja apropiadamente. Very good. No trabaja apropiadamente. So, another one is it makes a strange noise. Que solo vemos en la conversación. ¿Qué significaba esto? Hace un ruido extraño. Hace un ruido extraño. También se puede decir it makes a funny noise. Funny en este caso es como raro, ¿verdad? I need to, creo que ya saben, ¿verdad? Como necesito arreglar algo, hacer algo. I need to speed things up. ¿Qué era eso? Necesito hacer las cosas rápido. Very good. Muy bien. Necesito acelerar las cosas, hacerlas rápido. Good. Check the brushes once a fortnight. A ver... ¿Se acuerdan que era once a fortnight? Una vez a la quincena. Una vez a la quincena. Very good. So, lo otro era parte de la conversación arriba. I had to extend the shot. Esta también la vimos arriba en la conversación. Extender el cierre. Extender el cierre. Y a minor fault. Very good. ¿Qué era esa? 
Una falla menor, very good. A minor fault, very good. So these are expressions that we can use for describing issues. Do you have any questions about this? Mm, no. Very good. So then we're going to do the exercise five. Match the expression words with the parenthesis in the left. Entonces, al número uno con la letra que sigue ahí. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo podamos hacer y pues luego chequeamos together, ¿ok? Did you finish already? Let's check together. Number one says small, an important problem. Uh huh. Letter A, a minor fault. Letter E, a minor fault. Letter E. Yeah, that's the one. Very good, perfect. Letter E, a minor fault. Number two, check it. What is that? Have a look at it. Have a look at it. Very good. Let us see. Have a look at it. Number three, a period of two weeks. Letter A. Letter D, a fortnight. Yeah, actually it's letter D, a fortnight. Very good. Number four, do something faster. Speed things up. Very good. Letter B, speed things up. And the last one, it says, make the shutdown longer. Uh -huh. Extend the shot. Letter A. Very good. Letter A, extend the shot. Very good. Perfect. Questions? Okay, so we're going to practice the conversation here. It says troubleshooting. I will be able to express a problem regarding equipment. Recordemos la pronunciación. Equipment. Regarding. ¿Qué es regarding? No sé. Respecto a. Respecto al equipo. Very good. So number one, it says, let's start. Uh, and there are some questions here. How often do you have problems with your computer? Uh-huh. So how often do you have problems with your computer, people? Mm. 
At my work, teacher. Uh -huh. mm, hardly ever. Hardly ever. That's good. That's very nice. Yes. Very, very good. And the rest of the people, how often do you have problems with your computer? Okay. The other question is who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Who is in charge to do the troubleshooting when the computer fails in your work? Mm, honestly, uh, because um, the person that has to go uh, never goes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, our sales assistant helps. Mm, okay. Yeah, that happens yeah. sometimes, right? So sometimes sí. sometimes we think about the problem and we fix it. Ni more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the good thing is that we learn things, so that's that's nice. Yeah. Él está siempre para ayudar. <laughs> nice, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to do the conversation. Okay, so, como hacemos usualmente, yo digo y ustedes chequean la pronunciación. So, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Pronunciation questions, my friends. Technician? Technician, yeah. Technician. And when it says uh, the technician has checked or check it. Has checked it too. Checked. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds with T, right? Something like that, yeah. Checked it too. Thank you. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? No more. The first, okay. uh, huh? the first is what's wrong? Wrong. Yeah, wrong. What's wrong? Wrong. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So uh, let's check the conversation then. Vamos a iniciar con Saúl Adalberto y Carla Daniela. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all uh, the cables are plugged? Plug. Plug. Yes, I have. 
and Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear I hear that has the maintenance team replaced maintenance. Maintenance team replaces the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Abel and Elison and Jeanette. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have taken it um, everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked in either cable, cable. or pugles? Cable, cable or pugles? Plug. Yes, plug. I have. Plug. Yes, I have. Hey, Mario. The technician has checked it in two. We have not verified the rest in the computer and it has had the same problem with the hair equipment 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 yeah i heard that has the minus team replace the but but it is no they haven't they haven't my boss sent the a memo. A memo. Memo every week. Very quick. I, I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope that I hope he can fix this problem. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Carlos Humberto and Mario Ernesto. ¿Quién comienza? Eh, Carlos, puede empezar usted. Ok, ok. What's wrong with your computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I want to know. Mm, that's too bad. How about the connections? How you check it out? The cables are blocked. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. 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 Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right. I hope he, hi, he can fix this problem. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Laura Fuentes and Carla Mendoza. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the cables? No. The connection. Above the connection, have you checked it? Are the cables are blue? Plug. Plug. Yes, I have. And Maria the technician technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that 
has the maintenance team maintenance, re maintenance team uh, replace the barriers? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see by the why the the technician, technician is coming. Technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Elizabeth, is possible for you, Elizabeth Hernandez? Not possible. Marilyn, is it possible for you? Okay. Okay, con Francisco le toca. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the battery? By no. No, they haven't. My boss sends a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right. I hope he can fix the problem. Okay, very good. Perfect. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de esa? ¿De cuál? De, de, de dice, yeah, I heard that has the maintenance. Ah, esa sí es la palabra rara acá. Maintenance. Meanings. ¿Y la no. otra? Replaced. Replaced en, en la última. Batteries. Batteries. Okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Now, Abel Edenilson y Carla Daniela. Okay. Aunque ya pasé, está bien. Ya, verdad. Sí. Yo también. También, verdad. <risa> Ya de izquierda, vamos, vamos a ver con los demás y luego vamos a ver si repetimos si quieren. Solo sí, creo que me falta, creo que solo me falta Ivania. Sí, creo que sí le va a ayudar a, a Ivania, le va a ayudar eh, Carla Daniela. Bye. Hola, What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, no. Where? I don't know. I had checked in it everywhere and I want to on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked uh, the all the core cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We haven't not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equ equipment. Yeah, I heard that. How does the maintenance team replace the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. En general, very good. Vamos a tener cuidado con un par de cosas como chat. Chat it. Chat. Let's see. Cables. Plug. Technician. Verify. Maintenance. Teacher. Mm -hmm. A mí esa me cuesta porque yo tuve unos profesores que decían maintenance. Mm, está raro. No, maintenance. That will be the word. Maintenance. Ok, copio. Ok. 
Maintenance is mistake, entonces. Ya, yeah, es maintenance. Es como mantenimiento, ¿no? Mantenimiento, sí. Porque vivimos engañados toda la vida. Sí, por dos. Ahí sí hay palabras que son raras, hay palabras que tienen diferentes pronunciaciones. Muchas cosas pasan en inglés, ¿verdad? Ok. Parecido Así como... como, vas a ver. <ríe> no es. Igual que Wednesday, por ejemplo, que no se dice Wednesday, ¿verdad? Se dice Wednesday. O sea, a veces se unen algunas, algunos sonidos, algunas letras. Let's see what else. Creería yo que eso es. Let's check the vocabulary, ¿ok? Let's see. Everywhere. What is everywhere? Por todas partes. Ah, en todas partes. Very good. Luego dice, it won't turn on. ¿Qué dice ahí? No encendió. No enciende, ¿verdad? Eso es bien común. Hay que aprenderse esa frase. Uh, dice all the cables are plugged ¿qué dice ahí? todos los cables estén conectados que todos los cables estén conectados very good technician, what is technician? técnico, very good verified, ¿qué es verified? Out. Verificado, very good. Let's see. Bueno, ya vimos que es maintenance. By the way, que es by the way. De esa forma. Mm, por cierto. By the way, es como cuando decimos en español, por cierto, y fíjate que, ah, uh, by the way, ok. And that's it, do you have any, any other question here? No. Ok, very good. So now we're going to do the exercise three, figure it out. It's a circle of words to complete the statements, compare with a partner. Entonces, la primera es have or has. Have. 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 Very good. The number two, have or has. 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 Very good. Number three, send or sent. Send. 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 That will be in past. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any questions so far? No. Entonces ya mañana nos toca ver el presente perfecto. No vamos a entrar en eso todavía y espero que puedan venir todos a la clase porque eso sí lo vamos a explicar así bien a detalle. Cómo se utiliza, cómo son los auxiliares, la forma de los verbos. Todo eso es bien importante. Es todo un tiempo, así como cuando vimos el presente simple, el pasado simple, el presente continuo. Ese es todo un tiempo. Entonces, mañana la clase va a estar interesante. Espero que no se la vayan a perder. Y como, okay. tenemos, como tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicar. Siempre que tengamos tiempo, we're going to practice. Ok. Let's see. Un voluntario ahora, porque no es mucho tiempo el que tenemos. To have a conversation. Uy, se están peleando, teacher, Pérez. Okay. <risa> Todos se están peleando por participar. Ok, bueno, escojo yo entonces. She's a victim. Not a victim, but a volunteer. <risa> Let's see, I'm going to speak with... Ya hablé con varios, con quien no he hablado. Será un voluntario involuntario. Exactly, that's the way it's going to be. I like your shirt. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's very nice, you know. The, this yeah, one nice. is, is coming this year, so. Let's, really? Yeah, they're I coming. It's going to be very good. A lot of bands are coming this year. Yeah. 
I was seeing that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to maybe five by now, five concerts, you know. I will check. Which? I will go to Scorpions, um, Creator, and Testament. They are together. Uh, what else the other? Mago de Oz. And I'm gonna check with Dayside, Moonspell. Those are it's the ones. <laughs> Very expensive, you know. <laughs> that is I have good. never seen one concert in my life. No way. Yeah. It's very good. It's a very nice thing. You know, all you the bands. <laughs> okay, but from the concerts that I told you, which one is the one that you would like to go more? Mago de Oz. Mago de Oz is nice. It's not it's not very expensive, you know, it's fifty dollars and uh the the I mean it's fifty dollars in the back. And seventy five in the in the in front, I believe with fifty dollars is good enough. I mean, it's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's not going to be a big a big concert. I mean, you will be able to watch the band in a very nice way. Uh, Isabel, que si quise ir fue al de Epica, pero no me enteré que vinieron hasta que ya se Ah, no way. <laughs> Epica was good. Yeah, it was it was very good. I yeah, went to that one, one bands. and I, I went to that one, and I went also to Behemoth. Behemoth uh, and Arc Enemy. Arc Enemy was amazing. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So I was the volunteer. Yeah, I can see that you <laughs> were <know>. talking around. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the concerts are very good, you know. Uh, it's totally different, and a lot of bands are coming. For example, there is another one that I want to watch. I don't know if I will be able to. That is Hombres G. I like that. <laughs> and, uh, Very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good, you know. It's a little bit expensive, but it's good. It's good. Okay, maybe in the future, let's try it out. Yeah, That's you should give it a try. <laughs> you should give it a try because it's a, a unique experience. And uh, yeah, you know, it's not the same. It's not the same as go to a bar and watch a band. I mean, the sounds, the music, the lights, the power. Is totally... Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, if you if you go to Mago de Oz, maybe we can we can be there. So Yeah, that's nice. Let, let me know if you are going to yeah. go. So. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be in June. Okay. So. I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of time for that one. That is the last one that I want to go. It's in June. So Okay. Que no have... coma mucha pupusa para ahorrar, dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have to save a little bit of money every day. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it's possible, you know. Okay. Now that's a pleasure. And choose another victim because they need to practice. Of course. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Daniela. You're welcome. L Let's see. I'm gonna speak with now. I don't know. Mario Ernesto. Ah, uh, maybe not possible. Okay, then uh, let's see. Carlos Humberto. Hola, hola. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can listen to you. Okay. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Very, very well. You know, today is Monday and I'm, I'm not that tired, so that's good. And what about you? How was your day? Uh, stressfully uh, with a uh, headache. In my have you had dinner already? Excuse me? Did you have dinner already? Yes. Yes, yeah. I have a dinner. And uh, take a pill for the headache too. Yeah. Yeah, that is very important that you need to be careful about your health. Yes. And, and what did you do on the weekend? 
Um, the weekend, go to my daughter to shopping, to the beach, or eat sushi out of, of the city. Ah, sushi is very good. I really like sushi. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. It's a, it's a taste, different, different taste. Yeah, that is true. It's, it's different. So, and it's very nice. I mean, um, all the tastes that you can get, the flavors, they are very nice. Very nice. Yes. And the, the Sunday, uh, tomorrow, no, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we make a sushi in house with uh, avocado, rice, and, and uh, pork. Oh, that's very good. It's very nice. Yeah. It's easy, but the rice is especially to make a sushi. That is it's so true. Not, it's not a, a current rice. That is true. It's not the regular rice. It's a different one. It's special for... It's special for, for make a sushi. That is true. That is true. And yeah. also the whole, all the ingredients, everything that you put, yeah, I mean, but it's very, it's very nice when you cook and also you, you eat your food. So that is very nice. Yes. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos Humberto. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Hoy estuvo rapidín porque no teníamos mucho tiempo, pero cuando podamos vamos a hacer prácticas. Vamos a practicar con todos los que podamos. Uh, before we finish, do you have any question for the class of tonight? Okay, so we are going to check the attendance and then we have to go and rest. Let's see how it goes. Abel Edenilson Salazar. Present teacher. Good. Abigail Elizabeth Torres Hernandez. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Janira Canizale Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. I'm here. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Present. Good. Wilna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Saúl Alberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. And el one one por ahora es para Carla Lorena Mendoza. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hello, my friends. Do you have any questions for me tonight? Questions, questions? <laughs>